This is so not gonna be a good quality video, is it? Hello everyone, this is Percy, and uh, as you can tell, this video is a little bit different from the others. Don't worry, no cancelling or anything, just... It's been a little while, and honestly, I've kind of been a bit stuck on making videos in the traditional format, so I kind of want to try something new. It's not to say I'm not going to go back to the others, I'm just trying to recuperate a bit. Recuperate, is that the right word? I'm hoping to just kind of do something new here, and while I come up with ideas for what I usually do, which is kind of mostly video editing stuff together to make it an interesting kind of looking video, while kind of spitting out facts at you about a list of things or a group of things, something like that. So let's try this new thing and see how it goes. Um, I might call this Percy's Corner, even though I already have a Percy's Corner on my email campaigns for the... You know what? This is Percy's Corner 2. Welcome you all to Percy's Corner 2. That's what this is, because I am in a corner. So it's fitting. What I'm aiming to do with this is basically just have some topic or some question in mind and be like, let's go. Let's just go search for it on video. And hopefully it'll be somewhat entertaining to kind of see the, uh, what happens through all of that. We're going to be doing, uh, looking for basically like product stuff. Product being like product design specifically. So what product designs like appeal to people no this is not at all out of my self-interest it's no it's not don't don't look at that don't look at that okay but in all seriousness though not only will this be something that is of my personal interest but also it can maybe help you out too because if you happen to be a student in like some kind of club and you need a club t-shirt, trust me, I've been been in plenty of those, and you don't want your club t-shirt to look... Maybe this can kind of give you some ideas from whatever I find. Hopefully we reach some sort of conclusion or set of conclusions from this, otherwise there's kind of no point to this. By the way, technically this isn't research, this is just looking up stuff. Research is actually when you go out and collect original data. Um, we're not doing that. No. We're lazy people. Sorry, I don't mean to call you lazy. I'm calling myself lazy. That's that's a me thing. What are we looking for? How to appealing appealing t-shirt designs. Let's start with t-shirts maybe. Does that sound good? All right. So, how do we how to make cool cool how to make cool paper airplanes? Yes. T-shirt designs. Let's just go with that. There we go. Okay. The T-Shirt Academy. That sounds very professional. Okay. Sounds cool. Create cool T-Shirt designs. Here are seven awesome ways how. Ah, pop-up. I didn't even read it. I just clicked close. I'm just so used to it. Is anybody else that way? They just see a pop-up and they're like, nope. I'm so sorry, pop-up. Every single shirt you should make... Wait. You make should scream, look at me, look at me, wherever they go. Yes. Okay. All right. Great challenge is that they should still have good taste because there are very thin line between. There is there is a very thin line between creative and tacky. Yes. Okay. Tickles your market's fancy. I'm not sure about that wording. I don't know. Any any time I see like tickles your fancy, just I don't want my fancy tickled. I don't know. I just my fancy's pretty private. Catchy text. You might say, but bold catchy copy is so 90s. Well, I will also tell you this. It's also to 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, and 3000s. I like this person. Okay, you have to get the following elements right. Choice of font, readability of the printed text, word count, and copy that you're... Copy that your niche would really love. I guess it's saying something that your audience likes, I guess. I don't I don't know why those words are not going into my head correctly. Let's see, add different material, okay. The shirt with the rubber. Nope, not the printed rubber. 
can't imagine wearing a rubber shirt. I don't know, it's... Utilize the back and the sleeves. It costs money. <laughs> I would, but it costs money. The zombie print on the inside front of the tee. But it's not visible when worn like a regular t-shirt. What? An ad about water just started playing and now I really want some water. You know what, this is gonna probably lead us down a similar path, so if we just keep going. How about we jump to hats? Cool hat designs. Design your own custom hat online. Um, uh, okay. So this didn't really lead us anywhere. Oh my gosh, that brain one though. You see this. Look at this. Okay, that's kind of impressive though. How long did that take to make? The creativity that people have though. It's seriously amazing how human ingenuity works, you know? Uh... Sorry, I just saw a um, he who shall not be named previous president hat. I don't want to see that on those. It's interesting. Ooh, Mad Hatter hat. Yes. Love it. Amazing. It's really weird because I don't get what is actually appealing in hat designs. I'm wearing one as part of branding, honestly, but it's, it is comfortable. I do like it, but it's... I haven't had the chance to wear a hat for most of my life because I generally wore all day what I wore to school. And in school they're like, no hats, you have to take off the hat because, yeah, I guess. So now I'm only really kind of discovering my likingness for how the hats feel. And I'm like, hey, I can drive around. I can wear one of these. It's nice. Keeps the sun out a little bit. Yeah, so I'm looking at these hat designs going, I'm not really sure what I like. At least to the ones that are not, like, crocheted or made of... What is... Not like this. Ones that are, you know, more do-it-yourself sort of ones. Like those, I'm just astounded at the creativity that people have in order to make and to actually come up with a design and not only be in their head like, hey, I want to make a a brain beanie and I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna crochet that to be able to take it from that thought to actually making it with your hands that's impressive but I'm sitting here going what's a design I want a design to stick on a hat and that's a lot easier but it's also it also takes a lot of the personableness out of it I guess so it's a lot harder to come up with a design that really reaches somebody when it's like, you don't have to wear this. I mean, it's not like a shirt where people are like, if you don't wear it, a hat, you don't have to wear that. So it's got to be a pretty compelling hat if you're going to wear it or if you're going to get somebody to wear it. I'm still, this is kind of a mystery to me still, how to, how to make a cool hat design, how to make a hat design someone will wear. Create your own hats. Hats you can make. How to wear a hat. There's gotta be more. That's That's gotta be clickbait, you know? I'm curious now, like, how to wear a hat. Something so simple. But also you're like going, how do you not know how to wear a hat? Should we click on it? I don't know if I can apply audio. You know what, I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to save it to watch later. So maybe in the future if this ever comes up again where I need to know how to wear a hat and show it to you on the channel, I can be like, here, watch later. There you go. It's perfect. I like that hat though. Very fancy. Very nice. Okay, we did t-shirts, we did hats. What do we want to do now? I feel like coffee mugs, you can really go with anything on that. You could just have so many of them. You can really just make any design on that, and somehow it usually ends up looking pretty good, as long as you don't go overboard with it. How to make cool... Well, you know what? 
Let's skip the how to make. Cool product designs. Cool science -y? Let's try science -y. I swear I'm not gonna copy off of anyone. I'm just curious to see like what other people do. Okay, this is mostly science experiments rather than like actual like designs of stuff. Not to say it isn't cool though. If I could figure out a way to incorporate like this, if I could if I could sell you if I could sell you drinks that look like this, that were like fruit drinks or something, like healthy stuff, I would totally do that because that looks amazing and I'd buy a carton for myself once a week, probably. Because stuff like that is amazing. It's just, how do you do that? And it's probably so simple too, you know? Simple ideas of inventions. Uh, yeah, so you can stick it to the- Oh, is that like a clippy? Oh, nice, it's a clippy. Penguins! Oh, my friend would love this. Oh my gosh, is that a juice box? My penguin, my penguin, my friend would love this penguin. Oh geez, I should find that and give that to her. Oh man. Ugh. I'm getting tired of sitting in my corner. I feel like this is a punishment. I need to get like a cushion back here or something so I can sit here for a while. I want to end on a actual productive note to, to give you some reason for watching to the end of the video. So, what do I do here? Should I just give you a promo code to my to my products instead? Uh, I feel like that's a cop out though. Products. Let's go with that. Products. General products. No, not that. Web. Ecosia. Let's see here. Seven product designs work rules that will work for people too. Okay, this looks like good things. Good things. I should have started with this. Skip to the know your audience. Okay, know your audience. That's a good one. Okay, so customers respond best when the only product features are the ones they want. Okay. It's more important to spend time deciding which features to omit than which to add. Okay, so don't make it too complex. Okay. Draw off of what you already know and kind of what you've already done. So I mean, even if you are doing something like designing a t-shirt or something for the first time, look back at your previous art projects or whatever. That's probably what I'd say to go do and kind of how I'd trans translate this. Okay, so there we go. I gave you something to end on. So seven product design rules that work for people too, if you want to read the full thing uh, by Deep Nishar. I hope I said your name correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. You know what? I'm going to give a promo code too because I don't feel like in my other videos that I'm, I don't feel like it's personable enough for me to go like, here, have a promo code or something. June is coming up. It's the LGBT month. Well, not just the LGBT month, but it's where pride comes in. So here we go. If it'll load. There we go, making fun of my own website lagging. Yeah, there we go, we got some LGBT science pride designs in here. And if you want to check those out, you can. And I think I will go ahead and after, well, before posting this video, I'll go ahead and make a promo code and I will put it right here for you to be able to see. And if you would like to purchase a Science Pride LGBT t-shirt in preparations for Pride Month, then there will be a code for that. And um, I don't know how much is going to be off, but we'll see. Hopefully shipping's not going to kill me. <laughs> this isn't- this is the informal portion of my YouTube channel, so I'm not going to be all listing out the stuff. So that means I don't have an outro. You know what, I'm gonna use mine. See you next time. That felt dumb. Let's do that again. Looking all cool? Okay. See you next time. Should've used the first one. <laughs>